all right let's get this started what's going on guys mark here and i'm back with a brand new video this is going to be another one of the talking videos because i think i need a little more time to edit the tagigara vlog from holy week so you guys might be wondering what video does marco have in line next lucky for you i have this planned ever since the NMAT results came out. Now my grades aren't really that high. I think I'm just an above average student. Let's say this is the average. Maybe I'm around this. So in my mind, I had to compensate through the NMAT. I convinced myself, or rather I told myself that I have to take specific measurable steps, smart goals basically, so that I can achieve my goal score, which is just 95 and above. To summarize everything that I've done, I've prepared three points to show you guys how I prepare for the NMAT. If it gives you a few ideas, try to tweak it to your style of studying, then see where that goes so number one on the list is start in advance now i'm not one to preach about not cramming i just think that sometimes shit happens and you have to cram but if you have the chance if you have the opportunity to start in advance especially for an exam like nmat i do recommend you start in advance what i did was i started a month before here i'll show you guys maybe like a sample drawing of my schedule might give you guys a few ideas now i did this because i had in mind already a plan where the first two weeks of that month i will spend it reading the concepts and the second week i'll just do practice exams after practice exams because i started in advance i actually started in feb 10 i was able to space out every single subject in more manageable chunks so each cube represents an hour each day one two three four five six seven eight nine 10. So every day I just study an hour's worth of content, which is a perfect balance because I have to also do other academic work, also do org work at the same time. This is more sustainable as compared to if I start, let's say, February 27. You can see that there's a lot less time, meaning you have to study bigger chunks each day so that you can catch up. Let's say these are worth three hours at a time. You can probably tell that this is not as sustainable. Here, you can be prone to burnout because you spend so much time studying. So I highly recommend if you get the chance, try to space out everything. Try to start as early as you can so that you can space out everything evenly and you won't have to rush anything. The second thing I did was build up the weak points. So NMAT consists of two parts with four parts each part. That's a total of eight parts. First part has these things second part has these things so as you guys can probably tell i'm not really a genius so i had to really get down to it i had to study all the things that i am not good at which is everything because nmat's coverage is super wide you have to be good at everything at least average at everything to be able to get a good score so if one was lagging it can pull your nmat score down so for example in my case I'm really bad at chemistry as compared to biology. I put the preferential option to study chemistry rather than biology because I'm already good at that anyway. So the last point here is be thorough or the way I'd like to put it, just assume that you're stupid. What do I mean by this? It's just when I try to read the concept, I read it as if I haven't read it at all. The reason being is I don't skip a part if I have this mindset. There's a difference between recognizing or thinking that you actually understand it to recalling it which is actually understanding it so i prefer recalling it so i just read it again it doesn't matter lower your pride or whatever just read it again it doesn't matter it's gonna help you out because it might clear up some misunderstandings as well and that's pretty much everything i did so just a few bonus tips i guess first one fix all of your requirements two weeks maybe a week before the NMAT date. It saves you the stress of having to run around and do stuff. The second is sleep early. I think enough studies have said that having seven to nine hours of sleep will help, especially because it will help you retain stuff. Third is if you need the extra help, don't be scared, get a tutor, go to a review class. I myself went to a review class last sem. So if you need another resource drive or 
anything that can help, I'll put a link down below of a Twitter thread made by doc underscore md18 that just has everything from biology, chemistry, physics, and social sciences, even has practice exams, all in a Twitter thread. I used it and honestly it helped out the bunch. I also asked permission if I can use this. He said yes. So that's pretty much everything I did to prepare for the NMAT. Now it's pretty general and fast paced and quick. If you need if you need specific tips or maybe you want to ask me stuff like specifically, you can comment down below. I'll try to answer as soon as I can. I know NMAT can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be. You just have to take those steps so that you can reach the goal that you've set for yourself. That's Petit Moarte at this point. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Any questions? I guess to cap off the video, what's your goal and math score this coming October? And let's add it in like and math score here, then dash. What's your dream med school? I just wanna know more about you guys since we're a tight knit community right now and I'll try to get to know you guys as much as I can. Hope this helps. And that's a pretty long outro.